Mild. M-I-L-D. You catch up. You ain't have some Nobody agree? So I'm wrong. Okay. I can be wrong. I'm talking about, but we at the, we at the, um, what is this called? This is the Laugh Factory. If we was at the Savoy, you wouldn't be able to be up here that long. You be like, get your Spokesman, man, we back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in. And once again, in 2024, it seems like most definitely if you're in that comedy lane, the entertainment lane, acting, Hollywood, or anything like that, if you got any type of pressure, grease, or plex with somebody, after what Cat Williams said, you're going to have to call it out loud and be straightforward without the subliminals. But now it seems that they got real in the field. As Donnell Rollins was out at Corey Holcomb's stand-up at the Laugh Comedy this past Sunday in L.A. and decided to pull the pressure out right there while he was on stage performing. And I had a link in the description where you can watch this in full at, on TMZ. And they actually got a little bit of a write-up with it where they spoke to Donnell Rollins after this, supposedly. And from what they say, this is stemming from the jokes he did took at him, Dave Chappelle, and as you heard right there, telling him you a mild comedian, nigga, you not hot and you not really that entertaining and you not lit. You heard Donnell Rollins, nigga, hold on, nigga, I'm really like that, nigga, Brooklyn, nigga, I'm really on that type of time, nigga, niggas know I'm gangster, nigga, all right, nigga, you ain't never heard me bomb. And you see uh, Corey Oakland standing on what he's saying right there. And for com comedians, they expect hecklers at shows, people heckle all the time. That's a part of the game, that's a part of the art you got to be prepared and ready for. You incorporate it into your stand-up when it does happen. But when another comedian do it, it's kind of like, hold on, nigga, it's really some pressure, it's some plex out here. But it's been times with Corey Holcomb, from what Donnell Rollins is saying, has took shots at Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle is his guy. Guess what? Special guest, Dave Chappelle. I'll be like, ah. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be hot garbage for at least an hour, hour maybe two. I'm just keeping it real. I'm not trying to on the brother, but he needs to understand you throwing your weight around too much, man. Standing up there smoking with them irregular shirts on, bombing all the time. Dave Chappelle is absolutely great in movies. Great, I didn't say good, I said great. The Chappelle show was so good and entertaining. The Chappelle show, they were selling it in the barbershops. It's a TV show. Yeah, yeah. They were selling the TV show in the barbershops. Give Dave Chappelle his flowers, but stand up, God, <laughs> this, this man has so much power because of what he's done in movies and TV 
that he can go in any comedy club. They're going to put him up because he's Dave Chappelle. And I promise you, this man is about to do a say no to comedy speech for as long as he up there. It's just nobody has the courage to say nothing because it's Dave Chappelle. He say, hey, man, Dave Chappelle, my dude, you done took shots at us, talked about our careers and things like that and where we at in the game, so I feel like I got to apply the pressure right here. Now, I don't know what made him come up to his show and turn up like that there. Corey Holcomb most definitely going to have a response for this tonight on the 5150. If you know, you know how this be turned tonight. It's going to most definitely be entertaining. And 2024, the company that got real in the field as – Darnell Rollins said he do want to talk to him at a different time and just hash it out on, at a different setting and things like that. Then it ain't that. They can really work it out and everything of that nature. But I ain't going to lie. When you come to a nigga show like that, is, is it getting real like that in the comedy world? <laughs> niggas is popping out and pulling up on niggas and calling niggas out while they on stage performing? I don't know. But we see a lot going on in the game right now. This first month and a half of the year most definitely got to turn up to the comedians as they didn't even brought Shady Sharp into the mix as he constantly get dissed by the comedians now. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm gonna keep saying it. It's the year of all the capital C's, nigga. Controversy, chaos, conflict, confrontation, catastrophe, confusion, and all that in between, nigga. Most definitely, if you get out line with some niggas, they most definitely popping out and pulling up in that comedy world, nigga. These comedians, we know behind the scenes that a couple squabbles over the years, certain ones, it used to be off the radar a lot, but we in real time, age of information. Niggas got their pride. Niggas love the craft. They love the art. I like to see people go hard behind they, what they love. You know, I don't want to see them get into it and get physical, but cool ahead to prevail. They'll work it out. They all in entertainment. They all got overlapping fans. They know the business. They got to do what they got to do. They going to keep surviving. Just keep entertaining us, man. We don't want to see nobody get hurt. And actually, Donnell Rollins got an interview on my expert opinion air right now that just dropped, so I got to check that out, too. Back in the day, Chappelle so used to go crazy, Ashy, Larry, and all that. Man, tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit, so stay on your pity.